Hello and welcome to the review of uh, Rise. This is a, a racing game on the Switch. Uh, just to give you an idea of what's going on here, I'm pretty far into the championship, but the, the newer tracks show what's going on better with the with the design. So just keep watching, and we'll we'll see how this goes. Sorry, I'm just using my phone here. And it's got like a turbo boost. That's where you see it right there. You hit B and it gives you a turbo boost. It's a little weird watching it through the, the phone. <laughs> a little bit of a delay, I guess. But as you can tell, the graphics are good. It runs smooth. Controls are good. They're a little touchy on, on, on the turns when you try to do some drifting. But if you hit the boost just as you're coming through the turn, it'll straighten you out. If you don't do that, sometimes you might overcorrect. Right now, this game's on sale. I think for six fifty nine on the eShop. Definitely worth it. I just bought a new uh, SD card. I got a two hundred and fifty six gig, so I decided to buy a new game. I had a one twenty eight, and I, you know, you run out of room fast, and I tend to buy off the eShop because man games are cheap and when I go to GameStop to buy games I never see anything I want unless it's like first party Nintendo and that stuff never comes down in price but that's okay I mean the eShop is there to give you some deals and this is certainly worth the money I like the tracks they're, they're nice looking tracks they're well designed uh, they, the enemies here, the opponents, they're pretty good. They're, I have it on uh, easy, so they're not like a huge challenge. There's one track, pretty fun, definitely worth uh, the money. As you can see, I've, I'm on top there always been a, a racing fan that's why I bought a PSP I always love the racing games and uh, PSP loads up fairly fast What's cool about some of these tracks is uh, kind of gives you uh, where you're, you're racing on water. You turned into like a hover hovercraft. Remember Hydro Thunder? Yeah, kind of. And it's partly through the tracks. It gives you different views. If you're uh, behind the guy kind of view, this, it has that. It gives you a uh, Shows you what it's doing on water there. Slightly different views from behind. Kind of like the hood view. Some people prefer the, you know, behind the car. If you ever play Sega Rally, that's definitely true for me, but this game's a little different.
very playable, smooth uh, frame rate. You have to recommend this one for all you Switchy fans. Doing eShop games, this is what this channel is going to start reviewing. I have a ton of games to review. And a lot of these games are, they usually go through rotation on, on eShop sale page. Great, great deals. And uh, also I'll be reviewing uh, games on the, the Xbox. Game Pass. You know, you always look at those games and you think about downloading and trying them. Yeah, that's what, what maybe I'll start doing and give you a, maybe a heads up if you should bother with, uh, you know, some of those indie style games. Certainly stuff to review. I like the, the water section. That's kind of cool. Control's a little different. It's a little harder on the water versus the uh, dirt and then the asphalt. It's... Using the stock switch Joy-Cons, it's, it, it's, it's decent. If you have like a pro controller you hook up and you, you do it on your your TV and it's docked, that's, that's always better. <laughs> I think it's pretty well known that the Joy-Cons are not the best controllers. I've had these for a while, so at least I don't have stick drift. But you got decent sized hands, like I do, uh, that will cramp up on, on Joy-Cons. My favorite controller has been from the Xbox since the controller S from the original Xbox days. That section, that rock in the middle there gets me every time. But it's got some Hydro Thunder vibes right here. So I recommend checking this game out. Also, uh, they have Need for Speed on the eShop. It's usually on sale these days for, what was it, like $5.99. Uh, Gear Club Unlimited's good. If, if you want a good racing game, then I highly recommend this, and, and thanks for watching, and I hope to see uh, some people check this video out, and hope they get a, a, a general idea of how this game performs. I recommend it. It controls good. It looks good. Runs smooth and it's cheap. All right, we'll see you on the next one.